Local sports from KYMA News 11. Coach, I'm here because I was qualified for the job. Um, so I'm not worried about trying to be the f a female head coach. I'm just here to coach. That's it. I'm just Coach Slaughter. There's nothing else to it. I'm here for the kids. It's not about me. Gila Ridge football begins a highly anticipated coaching era. Welcome back, everyone. All eyes will be on Gila Ridge head football coach Jessica Slaughter, not only tomorrow, but throughout the season. History was made this past June when Slaughter was named head coach of the Hawks, becoming the first female varsity football coach in Yuma and only the third in the history of the state of Arizona. Coach Slaughter takes over a very good team that lost in the state 4A semifinals two years ago and finished last year's COVID-shortened season unbeaten at 5-0. A graduate of Gila Ridge herself, the 27-year-old Slaughter, has worked her way through the ranks and has been with the team as a JV and assistant coach for the past five years. Despite losing 18 seniors and going through the third head coaching change in four years, the Hawks are primed for another strong season. Honestly, we're a little bit of everything. Um, we have expanded our run game from last season. Um, we've... Uh, We've definitely expanded on what we've what we've done in the past. We've added a little more razzle dazzle as far as the run game goes. Uh, for the passing game, I mean, we're gonna nickel and dime you all the way down the field, or we'll throw bombs. It doesn't matter. Uh, we're here to play. The Hawks start the Jessica Slaughter era on the road tomorrow night as they pay a visit to Glendale. All right, here's our look at our week number four lineup of games for FNL. Our septuplet of contests are all headlined by Yuma Catholic's season home opener as they take on Coolidge. So we invite you to come to join Cole and myself for this week's episode. We certainly look forward to seeing you then. Well, moving on to prep volleyball, we had an interstate showdown on Yuma's west side as the Cibola Lady Raiders played host to the Brawley Wildcats. First set off the cat serve, Mina Johnson sets for Elisa Moreno, whose kill shot wouldn't be denied. But Cibola was still down four points. Very next play, off the Lady Raiders serve, Ali Tapia sets for Kristen Ruelas, whose kill shot squirts by Rory Hoffmeyer at the net for the kill. Cats extending their lead. Just a few plays later, Sabola back on the set. Johnson feeds Hoffmeyer, but her kill attempt is blocked at the net by Ryan Dickerson. The Cats dominated the net early, late in the set. Lady Raiders would try to rally as Johnson again sets for Moreno, and she throws down. But Brawley would take the set. Cibola would storm back, take sets two and three before the match would go the distance. But Brawley would be victorious in the end, winning three sets to two in an epic showdown. Meanwhile, we bring you a highlight rewind of the unbeaten AWC women's soccer team. They play host to Mesa on Tuesday. Karen Rivas on the pitch, and she was only on the pitch for a minute before doing this. Nice. Getting a goal and coming back from a year-long injury. AWC up 2-0. Moments later, it's Rivas again. Now she's going to return the favor to Izzy Payne. And Payne is going to come through with a goal of her own. Nice. AWC takes the 4-0 win. And now the Lady Mats are 4-0 on the season. Look out for them and the men's team. We end our sports cast with a programming note. Since the NBC Sunday night football kickoff game is airing this Thursday between the Cowboys and Buccaneers, that would be tomorrow, there will not be an evening edition program. But be of good cheer, we still have a nightside show tomorrow at 10. All right, we're done, son, with this round of sports.